In this video, we're going to have a look at the query, but this time we're going to use the search query. So we're going to get away from taxonomies, categories, tags, attributes, and we're now going to look at uh, an option where you can insert whatever you want to pull up the search results. So here I have my query and I have two results there. I have a, a hoodie and a t-shirt, which are completely unrelated. And if I go into my query, you'll see that I have the search term, which is this S. So you simply look for the S in the list of options, select the S and then enter the variable or the word that you want. Now it will select and search in the title and the content. So the reason why these items were displayed on the page here is because on the actual product page, you'll see that the word variable appears. This is a variable product and that's why the variable, these two products were chosen. Similarly, if I go in and I go with the word like logo, which I know appears in some of the titles. Now all the products that can be used with logo will appear in the results. So there we have the items with the word logo in the title. Uh, in another way, let's have a look at a simple product because I know that some of the items are simple products. So simple product, close, save. And now when I go and have a look, you'll see that simple products are displayed. So this is a very um, easy way to display products by search term. In the actual query in the back end, I'll just show you how we have it set up. So basically we have a standard post type, which is a product. Then we have the post per page, which come from a custom field. In this case though, we could just replace that with a number four. Then we have the taxonomy query. Now, in this case, the taxonomy query isn't required because we're not using the taxonomy query. We're just going with the search result. Then we have the no found rows set to true, so there's no pagination. Order by, and in this case, let's go with title and the order, let's go with ascending. And then we have the meta query to check that the items are in stock and that one will keep. And then here we have our search parameter. So with that change made, we'll update, head over to the website, and you'll see that in my search results, slightly different now, but there are the search results um, based on the word logo. And you'll be wondering why, um, or what was the search term? The search term was simple. And if I type in the word logo, now you'll see all the items with the lo word logo appear in the listing. What I can also do now is I can also then decide if I want to, maybe I want to arrange the sort order there by price. And to do that, I would head into my query. And then I, instead of order by, title I would go meta value number and then if there's a meta value number we need a meta key so we add the parameter and we look for uh, meta underscore key and in the meta key we're going to add the value underscore price and now the items will be arranged by price. So in ascending order, and if we look in our query, then you'll see that the order here is ascending. And similarly, if I was to change that to descending, then the, the price would start from the most expensive. If I wanted to restrict my results to a specific category, so let's say we want to do it to um, t-shirt. So what we would do then is head over into our query and now we'll do a taxonomy query. So we'll add a parameter, um, TAX taxonomy query. When we do a taxonomy query, there will be two values. The first one is the relation so the relation is and, and then we have the array with the values. So we'll 
add the values and what we're going to do with this time is we're going to say that the taxonomy and the taxonomy is product cat then we're going to have a look at the field and the field will be the slug then we're going to add the value uh, the terms so the terms in this case we know we just want to do it with t-shirt I'm not sure if it's plural or singular and in finally we're going to have a look at the operator and the operator just says in so let's just have a look and see on t-shirts the correct way for the taxonomy so here we see within the product uh, t-shirts so if we have a look we'll see t-shirts or you can go into categories in the back end under products and actually go and have a look at the slug so t-shirts it is in plural and we'll head over to the front end there so i'm going to add the s so that's how you can check the category slug we save that and now when i refresh you're going to see that we only have um, the logo from t-shirts so now only the t-shirts are included in the query i'm going to come to the back and now i'm going to add another value and the other value will be accessories so this is a great way to filter products uh, that are similar from several categories or to only have specific products from the same category displayed in the search result so i hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching